let me get to the serious issue I wanted to go into about, about the gas prices in America. Everybody in America now is disturbed and distorted and, and nauseous and furious about the gas prices because they're all saying different kinds of things and excuses for it. All the economists are on all the TV shows trying to justify them and all the people who represent the corporate structure of America thinks that it's a, it's a great threat to free enterprise to even uh, suggest that they should charge less because it's not, the, it's not supposedly the fault of the gas company that uh, all of a sudden the price of gas goes up by a dollar and a quarter every 10 minutes. And some how it's not their fault because after all there's speculation and the gas was there's a, there's cartels in Europe and the Middle East that control it meanwhile with, with all these stories and all these justifications the simple fact is that they are getting making astronomical profits unheard of in the whole free enterprise system of the whole universe in the last quarter they made eight billion or ten billion the quarter before that they made eight billion they went between eight and ten billion a total of 18 billion in six months 18 billion and you know what that money comes from from your pockets. Now everybody says, well, but they're entitled to make a profit. They're only making 7.5% profit. After all, 7.5% is not a lot of profit. It is a lot of profit if it adds up to 18 billion, isn't it? Let me ask you a question. You don't think they would uh, they would bother to produce gas or oil if, it, if they only made $10 billion profits instead of 18 billion? They wouldn't produce it for 6 billion? How much, how much profit do you need on a necessity of life? You can't live without gas. You can, 90% of the people depend on it to make a living because you can't even get to work without it. So isn't it amazing that in this country where they regulate the price of electricity, you regulate the price of, of a telephone, you regulate the price of so many things. You have rent control that's regulated. You know, a, a bottle of milk is regulated. Now, let me ask you a question. If you have electricity, and you have rent control so that you can be comfortable in your home but you can't go to work. Now you got to pay your electric bill and your rent bill but you can't go to work to make enough money to pay it. So they control these prices so that you could live comfortably in your own house but you can't afford to pay the rent because you can't even afford to go to work. If you can't go to work to make the money how are you going to pay the rent after your rent controlled it? So your rent controlled the rent but you can't make a living They're enough to pay for your rent or your electricity or anything else. Now everybody says, well, but the uh, credit card companies get 18%. And that justifies the gas companies, the oil companies, for making only, after all, 7%. As if just because somebody's a much bigger thief, that doesn't make any difference if you're a thief, you're only a minor thief compared to them. Imagine if you had to pay for your gas with a credit card, how much it's going to cost you. <laughs> if, if you add up the 18% and the astronomical new price of gas, you wind up getting wiped out in an hour in one gasoline station. This whole thing is so sick and the amount of money they charge us. So this is a necessity of life and nobody in the world should be able to make those kind of crazy profits out of what you need to make a living, especially when you hear of that guy that got 400 million, a compensation package, the head of, of ExxonMobil, 400 million, that's this time. Only seven months ago he got another 400 million in other words he got a total of 800 million do you know if he didn't get that 800 million your price of gas at the gas station would be less by about a dollar and a quarter do you know how many gallons of gas you could get for nothing if you saved that 800 million and why does he need 800 million do you know a sandwich that cost 800 million what 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 would he lose in his life it's a question of you being able to get to work and it's a question of him instead of 800 million let's say he assume he got 20 million what, what is he going to buy with the extra 800 million that he can't buy with 20 million or 40 million? How much money does he need on your back? Why should you not be able to go to work because they're collecting hundreds of millions? He's only one example. There's other executives in that company got 200 million and 100 million. If you add up all the hundreds of millions they took and you put it to the price of it, the fact of the matter is these are thieves and frauds and liars. And the truth of the matter is if they're not in jail, they should at least be investigated. And we should find out why they're one monopoly. One monopoly, it's called separate companies, five companies. There's no five companies. It's one company because they deal and they work and they live like one company. And, and this is absolute collusion. When there's absolute collusion, and there's no competition, they can make up any price. They could do this with a glass of water. What if somebody told you a glass of water is $87? Now the guy who runs the water company got 800 million. And now what if he decides to get 10 billion? What if he decides to take for himself 100 zillion? What if there's no water left at all and nobody could drink a glass of water because all the money goes to him because there's no limit to how much he could take home with him? 
How, what is it with the commentators in America that they keep justifying this? What is this free enterprise? This is protecting free enterprise. Free enterprise, when they're left alone in a laissez-faire society to do whatever they please, could persecute and destroy all of humanity. That's why they had all kinds of legislation to stop them to doing whatever they please. You could still make a profit. God bless them. You deserve a profit. Does that mean you should do whatever you please and destroy anybody you want? Why do they have minimum wage laws? Why do they have working hours laws? You know why? Because when people were working without any laws to protect them, they were worked to death at nine-year-old kids who were working 14 hours a day in factories. Why? Because they could do whatever they please. We're bringing back that era now, where they could do whatever they please, destroy whoever they want, and you're protecting them. They are frauds and thieves, and it's about time we put a stop to it. Right after I get off this stage, I'm going to go looking for that guy. <laughs> he ain't got long to live if I find him. Let's so, get to the next caller, please. How do you do? Ralph. Ralph from Cape Cod. Hey, how are you, Jackie? How you doing? Thank God. Enjoy the show. Thank you, my friend. What's on your mind? Who are you? Ralph what? Ralph Nash. Oh, how Ralph Nash. I think I know who you are. You are a, uh, you are a comedian. I, I saw you working in Boston. You certainly did. You're I a Boston that. comedian. I, and I remember you. you. You were a huge hit when I saw you. And I, it's nice to talk to you again. God bless you. It's nice to have some light entertainment here while we're talking about the thieves who are wiping out this country. Let me ask you a question. Do you have an opinion about what I just said with reference to the gas companies? I absolutely do. I think it's absolutely ridiculous. And the only thing I can think of why the government doesn't get involved is because the politicians are getting big money from, from the oil companies, huge money, in contributions and this and that, and because of that, they let them almost do whatever they want. It's, a it's unbelievable to me. But not only that, the Democratic Party, uh, the Democrats are complaining about the Republicans being in cahoots with the oil companies. It's the Democrats who are not allowing the oil, the oil companies to even, to even refine any oil in America. Uh, they're, yeah. not, they're not allowing them to drill for oil in any part of this country exactly. or in Alaska. Everybody knows that we have the resources. We have right now enough oil stored in the, in the land of America and Alaska that could feed the, the, the cars of America for the next 50 years. Yeah, right. and, they, and, the and they say it's more important. Things, certain areas have to be protected which they may, right. may have to be. I don't even know about the global warming. Right, they say they have to protect the caribou. Nobody knows what a caribou is. A caribou is walking yeah, around. Caribou. If a caribou wasn't there, would you miss it? Do you ever hear from a caribou lately? They say it's an endangered species. It should be endangered. Who needs them here? <laughs> <laughs> what purpose do they serve anybody? When you had a bar mitzvah, did you hear from a caribou? When you catch a cold, do they write to you? Who needs them in this country? What's their purpose in America that's more important to, to protect an animal of that kind that nobody ever heard of than, uh, than a human being going to work? A person doesn't count to these environmentalists. A, a, an animal that nobody ever heard of, this we have to protect. It's a wonderful thing to care about animals. And I, and I enjoy the thought that people care about animals. But at the expense of everybody's ability to make a living or to survive with a gallon of gas? Huh? Who am I talking to? Let's go. <laughs> Let me ask you a question before I go any further. Uh, are you entertaining any place now, right, uh, right now in Boston? I'm doing, I have a, I just uh, have a business now. I'm very excited. We just started a business where I phone call, make phone calls to people for their anniversary, for birthdays, as Al Pacino. Is that right? And yeah. I was just awarded. Uh, you do Al Pacino. Before we go to a break, I want to hear how you do Al Pacino to see well, if I can Al get Pacino you a call. Al Pacino has a voice where he's very relaxed and he understands that the oil prices today are completely crazy and how the business is set up is another thing. And if they understand that the future of our country is dependent upon where we're getting the money. Hey, you, you want me to tell you the truth? This is just a, a, you're great. Ralph Nash is his name. This guy is great. This is only one of a million impressions he does. He entertains better at any party, anywhere. And he, this man should be a star. I saw him and I was I was awed by his talent when I saw him, and it hurts me that he's still not a major celebrity. You're going to be one in a very short time, but one thing is definite, that the, the oil company heads are taking astronomical insane profits out of the pockets of the American people, and if we could regulate anything at all, there's nothing more important to regulate than this. If you could regulate a bottle of milk, if you could regulate cream cheese, and if you could regulate peanut butter, there's no reason why you can't. You could live without peanut butter, but it's hard to live without gas. You have to get there. And this is a disgusting, unbelievable thing that they get 
getting away with it and that all the commentators on television are protecting them in the name of free enterprise. Free enterprise means you're allowed to make a profit. That doesn't mean you're allowed to have a monopoly, make competition inconceivable. When there's no competition, there's no free enterprise. It's a fraud closed enterprise of one organization robbing everybody in America. That's what it really is. God bless you. God bless you all and goodbye.